Hey Tubers, it's uh, Pop Boys live from uh, the internet, uh, the internets, and today we're going over uh, some updates on Antarctica. I've been getting a few comments on my previous Antarctica videos, um, so if you have a chance, please check those out as well. Now, uh, scientists were recently hoping to witness the final act of the. Um, you know, the greatest Antarctic ice shelf disintegration, allegedly, in recent memory, or history. So, uh, not much remains of the Lawson B. ice shelf, allegedly, but uh, what is left can teach scientists a lot about, um, you know, mighty masses of ice fall apart, or rather how mighty masses of ice fall apart, especially when uh, it's last lingering slipper finally crumbles. Researchers traveled to Scar Inlet along the Antarctic Peninsula to study the remnants of the former ice shelf in February to better understand the peril that glaciers around Antarctica are facing. Uh, Aaron Petit of the University of Alaska, Fairbanks, and the project's lead investigator as well as Ted Scambos of the National Snow and Ice Data Center brought uh, with them a few, or uh, a slew of instruments rather, to capture what they hoped would be uh, the final breakup of the remaining shelf. Uh, though the ice remained intact uh, throughout the warm summer, the team collected a tremendous amount of data about the ice shelves which should yield new insights into how they behave. The research was funded by the National Science Foundation, which manages the U.S. Uh, Antarctic program. The ice that covers the waters of the Scar Inlet along the Antarctic Peninsula is the last substantial f fragment of the former Lawson B. ice shelf. The Rhode Island sized plate of floating ice fell apart suddenly and dramatically in 2002. During the particular uh, warm summer, water pooled on the top of the ice shelf, critically weakening it. And uh, over just a matter of weeks, the ice mass, which had remained stable for 12,000 years, completely fell apart. The collapse took scientists completely by surprise, and they quickly focused their attention on the region. Using satellite data, they watched as the glaciers behind the ice shelves uh, started accelerating faster into the ocean after the enormous mass of the ice holding them back disappeared. Now, since then, the ice shelf uh, in the adjacent scar inlet has largely remained intact, but it has, gone, it has undergone changes. Uh, they think that the comparatively thin layer of frozen ocean that abuts the ice shelf um, has been helping to hold it together. So over the last several years, the layer of frozen ocean, a few meters thick, formed where the formerly hundred of hundreds of meters thick Lawson B once was. Uh, this is called fast ice because it holds fast to the shore. This type of sea ice typically breaks apart each year near the end of the summer. But the fast ice in the Scar Inlet has surprised scientists because it has remained intact for about five years now and seems to be keeping the um, hundreds of meter thick Scar Inlet ice shelf in one piece. However, scientists don't uh, think this sea ice will be able to buttress the ice shelf forever. They suspect that once the sea ice breaks breaks out, it will lead to the collapse of the Scar Inlet ice shelf and the subsequent acceleration of the glaciers behind it. Uh, now, catching this breakup of the ice uh, and any further collapse of the ice shelf would yield a tremendous amount of information about how these vast tracts of ice fell apart, uh, of close information that has never been gathered before. So. This year was a good bet to watch it happen. Um, the El Nino in the Pacific brought warmer than usual water temperatures to the region, which the researchers hoped would you know, be just enough to melt the ice and bring about such a collapse. But from their vantage point on a nearby hill, the team set up radars, cameras, 
uh, seismometers and infrasound arrays to capture all the data they could about both the fast ice and the adjacent ice shelves. Um, so they didn't capture the big collapse that they'd hoped to, which why they would hope to is beyond me. They were able to capture data for a number of smaller instances where chunks of ice uh, calved from the shelf. So should the ice shelf break up, it would mean that there's nothing holding back the advancing glacier behind it. Um, those glaciers have potentially global impacts because they advance and plunge into the sea and it causes the ocean to rise. So fast ice and the ice shelves are already floating on the oceans and so if they break apart it uh, doesn't directly impact global sea levels but they're the breaks that hold back kind of like the you know the advancing glaciers. So there are ice shelves um, around the continent that are in similar peril in particular around West Antarctica off the Amundsen Sea. Um, the climate in that region has been warming particularly fast and the ice shelves holding back the massive uh, Thwaites Kola. Um, the Pine Island and the Smith Glaciers could sometime in the future go the way of the Lawson B. So, um, so yeah, something to think about. So that's just an update on uh, what's going on in the Antarctic melt uh, as we watch the alleged collapse which doesn't actually appear to be happening so anyways uh, please share like subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you next time thanks for watching guys